Our next challenger always tries to stay one jump ahead. 23-year-old Steve Smith from Newcastle under Lyme is a National Hunt racing fan. He claims that he can remember the fate of every horse that has run in the Grand National between 1980 and 1990, whether it won, fell, refused, pulled up or whatever. Tonight, he will attempt to recall the fate of 40 horses chosen at random from those 11 years. We will give him the name of the horse and the year of the race and three minutes in which to do it. This is Spike's challenge. Why are you backing this, Spike? Because I think uh, the best way of avoiding sexual temptation <laughs> is to go around thinking of the 40 horses, what happened to them in the Grand National. <laughs> all there, Spike. <laughs> Press your yes button then, thank you. And let's hope you don't get a forfeit. It could be pandemonium then. Sheila, what um, do you think? Well, I think maybe he just might miss up on one. Press the maybe button. Well, is there a maybe? <laughs> <laughs> there should be a maybe perhaps button, don't you think? Which but maybe he might miss. He's got to do 40. 40. In 11 yes. years. Yes, there's a lot of facts, about no. 500 facts, I'd no. say. John, what do you think? Well, anyone who could remember everything about 40 horses would be a multi-millionaire and they wouldn't be here tonight, so I'm going to say no. You're going to say no as well? No. Fair enough. Two no's, one yes. Let's see if our audience agree. Place your bets now, please. This is a good betting one. If you bet us at home, you could bet on this one, couldn't you? Or you could just watch like you usually do. Ooh. That's it. Oh, well, not much confidence there. Well, 45 say yes, he can do it. 55 say no, he can't. Will it be a racing certainty? We do not know. Let's meet him. Steve Smith. <laughs> Steve, you look so confident. Are you confident? Bearing up under the circumstances, Matthew, I think. Yes. I want to take you back now on a journey through time. Now, it's about 12 years ago you first started getting interested in National Hunt. How old were uh, you then? Yes, that's right. Uh, Grand National 1978, I had a little flutter on a horse called Otterway because I liked the name. I thought it was a nice name and it promptly fell at the first fence. Uh, I was 11 at the time. Uh, having said that, I hope that doesn't bring the mass ranks of the Newcastle Underline Constabulary to get me 12 years later for underage gambling, but there you go. I think they probably have. <laughs> <laughs> speak, Steve. Since then, um, my interest has broadened to take in not only the national, but also the whole of national hunt racing, yeah. to the point now where I write written reports and collect records. The videos are eating, it, eating us out of house and home. But and it's, uh, not, it's obviously not the better, because you're not a rich man. No, not at all. Um, it's the love of the sport, really. Uh, the challenge, and particularly with National Hunt, the continuity, the fact that you get horses coming back year after year. Well, how do you best. cope with the criticism, then, that people say that National Hunt is a cruel sport? Um, I always say that uh, a horse, if he doesn't like what he's doing, you'll refuse in two strides, and a ten-stone man, a jockey, isn't going to get half a ton of horse flesh over a fence if he doesn't want to go. Mind you, if you have a passion, it's hard to see the other side, isn't it? <laughs> OK, a horse, a horse! My kingdom for 40 horses! And no peeking, cos they're coming no on cheating, now. No cheating, as they say in O-level. You're not Absolutely. doing something good. Now, stay there for one moment. Here they come. You can slide over this way. Keep facing front. We want no sneak previews. Don't forget, you have three minutes only in which to complete your challenge. Are you ready? I'm ready as I'll ever be, yes, I think. OK, good luck, Steve. Your time starts now. The thinker, 89. Third. That's right. Uh, this way, 82. He fell at the eighth. Monty Python, 83. He refused the 15th. Right. Aldaniti, 82. Fell at the first fence. Akarin, 86. He was brought down at the 10th fence. Spartan Orient, 87. Unseated his rider at the 12th fence. So and so, 80. Fell at the 6th fence. Cumbi, 85. Fell at the 5th fence. Royal Mail, 81. He finished third. The Drunken Duck, 84. He was pulled up before the 17th fence. Uh, Tracy Special, 88. Pulled up before the 22nd fence. Uh, Pucker Major, 90. Unseated Rider, 27th. Classified, 85. He finished fifth. That's right. Eamon Zoe, 87. Unseated Rider at the 15th, Matthew. Northern Bay, 88. Pulled up before the 19th. Man Alive, 82. Another first fence faller. Steersby, 89. Refused at the 11th. Brown Tricks, 87. Unseated rider at the 3rd. So, 81. Finished 10th. 
That's right. Royal appointment, 85. He fell at the 21st. Right. Artistic Prince, 82. He fell at the 1st. West Tip, 86. He was the winner, and I got him that year as well. Oh, good. Uh, <laughs> Beach King, 83. He fell at the 6th. That's right. Bonanza Boy, 90. Finished 16th. Another Prospect, 81. He fell at the 8th fence. On a Promise, 85. Pulled up before the 19th. Right. Two Swallows, 84. He finished 6th. Right. Numerate, 89. Was pulled up before the 21st. Bashful Lad, 85. Well, my friend had that and he fell at the first fence. Oh, dear, what a shame. Uh, <laughs> in Shaw, 88. Unseated rider at the 20th. You've got just less than a minute. Oak Prime, 83. Pulled up 16th. Right. Smart Side, 87. Fell at the first. Right. Ten Cherries, fell 86. Fell at the 10th. Immigrate, 85. Fell 22nd. Zongolero, 80. Refused 20th. Hello Dandy, 85. Fell first. Smart Tar, 89. Unseated Rider, 20th. Cold Spell, 82. Brought down at the first. Mender, 83. Fell fourth. And Attitude Adjuster, 89. He finished 12th. <laughs> I have never seen, I've never seen facts like that come out so quickly. It was a fantastic achievement. Here's Ellis with your award. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Steve Smith.